The Idea Center was created to commercialize technologies that were discovered at the university. Uh, and typically universities really struggle with this and a lot of the technologies end up staying there because universities aren't very good at that commercialization process. So Notre Dame, in an effort to streamline that, to make more of those discoveries move from there into the private sector, into people's hands that they could be used, created the Idea Center. We were one of the very few initial companies that was uh, spun off from Notre Dame Research. We see that a lot of cities have uh, a number of different problems that we generally categorize as wet weather management problems. And those problems, uh, in particular in South Bend, stem from the fact that uh, we have really old infrastructure that carries both stormwater and wastewater uh, in the same pipe. This was really the first time that uh, the city and the university came together to solve uh, a problem that affected the city. So one of our most successful programs has been what we call our Smart Sewers program. We, through the work with MNET, put in um, over 150 sensors into our sewer system and it's the most densely censored system in the world. And so the sensors are giving us information that we didn't used to have. Long story short, we were able to take a $700 million program and for the same environmental benefit, not changing the level of service, do that for $200 million just by optimizing the existing system that's in the ground. I think the collaboration between universities and utilities um, is critical uh, in a lot of ways because universities, all we do here is we try to think about improving processes or improving, um, improving the world in some way. Uh, and working with the utilities who are providing public service, uh, they're also interested in being able to provide the best service to their customers. But if they're not able to invest or to spend their own resources on developing uh, new technologies, then uh, universities are, are able to step in and to work collaboratively with them which then organizations and entrepreneurs um, like, uh, like Christine with Valor would be able to take that and implement that large scale across the industry. So as the, you know, the Urban Water Consortium is looking at funding research, it's not just things that we can directly benefit, but we're thinking about the industry as a, as a whole and, and some of the issues that we're dealing with. And the work that the Urban Water Consortium did with the Environmental Finance Center um, spawn, you know, Christine Boyle and Valor Water to develop a product that's really relevant and important to the issues that utilities across the country are dealing with today. So Valor Water is committed to figuring out new ways, new applications of the data to provide insight to utilities so that they can help protect the water, they can help protect their financial resources, and at the end, help continue to provide clean, affordable water to their citizens. Um, and we are proud of what we've done to that end, and we're gonna continue to advance, hopefully to every meter in America and every meter in the world. I've been here more than 35 years as a professor specializing in geotechnical engineering. About 18 years ago, I started working on problems of online measurements uh, to detect pipe bursts and leaks in water pipes. This led to a major project in Singapore and spun off Vicente as a company uh, headed up by three postdocs, Amy Price, Michael Allen and Madassa Iqbal, who are still running the company to this day. I think we got fairly lucky. We turned up at exactly the right time when there was an opportunity, they could see an opening for this. And we were very lucky to have a couple of key managers in the system who were willing to take a risk on this. So utilities are very comfortable saying, oh, we'll try a little pilot project out. If it works, sure, we'll take it on. Uh, you can't just live in the world of pilot projects. We set out trying to find bursts and leaks in water pipes. Vicente has made that a reality. We've got an ability through sensor networks to make those kind of measurements at a city scale. Zolim is all about, uh, that's, that's why we call uh, Let's Solve Water, meaning that it is not only about solving these fundamental problems around the leaks and the losses, but the real end goal is to get this precious resource within the hands of the, the end consumers 
So the entire social element is, is behind this intelligence and the, the, the real-time monitoring aspect that we bring to the table.